Ever pondered on the question, is money a burden or a blessing? This question has been the subject of countless debates and discussions throughout history. It's a question that, in many ways, shapes our lives and our world. We live in a society where money is often seen as the ultimate measure of success. It's the ticket to a comfortable life, the key to opportunities, and the passport to freedom. For many, it's the very definition of happiness. This perspective is deeply ingrained in our culture. It's a perspective that paints money as a blessing, a good fortune that one must strive to attain. But there's another side to this coin, a side often overlooked. There are those who view money as a burden. They see it as a source of stress and anxiety, a constant tug of war between earning and spending, between wanting and needing. It's a cycle that never seems to end, a cycle that can consume one's life. Then, there's the minimalist perspective. Minimalists see money differently. They don't perceive it as the ultimate measure of success, nor do they view it as a source of unending stress. For minimalists, money is a tool. It's a means to an end, not the end itself. Minimalists understand that money has its place. It can provide basic necessities. It can open doors. It can provide experiences. But it's not the be-all and end-all of life. It's not something to be idolized or feared. It's simply a tool, a resource to be used wisely and intentionally. This view on money may seem foreign to some, even radical, but it's a perspective that can bring a sense of calm and clarity in a world often ruled by financial chaos. It's a perspective that challenges the status quo and invites us to reassess our relationship with money. So is money a burden or a blessing? Well, it depends on how you view it. But, for minimalists, money is not a burden nor a blessing, it's simply a tool. Imagine living a life where you are not controlled by the pursuit of money, but rather, money serves your purpose. Let's delve into the tale of Alex, a regular person like you and me, who discovered minimalism and experienced a paradigm shift in their relationship with money. Alex was once a slave to the 9-to-5 grind, always chasing the next paycheck, the next big purchase, always wanting more. Then one day, Alex stumbled upon the concept of minimalism, and it sparked a curiosity. Like a seed planted in fertile soil, the idea of minimalism began to grow within Alex's mind. They started questioning their own habits of earning and spending. Was working endless hours truly necessary? Did owning a plethora of objects truly bring joy? Alex realized they were living in a cycle of earn, spend, and repeat, without a moment's pause to question why. The concept of minimalism encouraged Alex to adopt a new approach towards money. Earning became a means to sustain a simple, fulfilling lifestyle rather than a race for accumulation. Alex found freedom in working less, knowing that they needed less to be content. They started saving, not for the sake of hoarding wealth, but to have a safety net, to have peace of mind. And spending? That's where the real transformation happened. Alex began to view each purchase as a decision, a vote for the kind of life they wanted to lead. No longer did they spend mindlessly. Instead, every dollar was spent with deliberation, prioritizing experiences and quality over quantity. This journey brought about a profound realization. Money, in itself, was not evil. The problem lay in how it was perceived and used. Alex discovered that money could be a tool, a servant, not the master. In this journey, the minimalist discovers that money is not the key to happiness, but a means to create it. But what if you were told that adopting a minimalist lifestyle could lead to financial freedom? This might seem like a bold claim, but let's break it down. At its core, minimalism is all about stripping away the unnecessary, the excess, and focusing on what truly brings value to your life. Now imagine applying this concept to your finances. You see, the minimalist approach to finances is not about deprivation or penny pinching. Quite the contrary. It's about making thoughtful decisions, being intentional with your spending, and eliminating waste. Imagine what you could do if you cut out the needless spending on things that don't truly add value to your life. For instance, consider your monthly expenses. How many subscriptions are you paying for that you barely use? How often do you eat out when you could be cooking a healthier, cheaper meal at home? By adopting a minimalist approach, you could reduce these expenses, freeing up more of your income for things that truly matter. Next, let's talk about debt. For many, this is a huge burden, a constant source of stress, but minimalism can be a tool for eliminating it. By living with less and prioritizing your spending, you could start paying off your debts more quickly. It's about taking control of your finances instead of letting them control you. And then there's savings. It's no secret that the more you save, the greater your financial security. 
But how often do we find ourselves dipping into our savings for impulsive purchases? With minimalism, you learn to resist these impulses, to save more and spend less. So, you see, minimalism isn't about giving up on your financial goals, it's about redefining them, focusing on what truly matters and taking control of your financial future. It's about finding freedom in simplicity and making conscious decisions that lead to financial independence. Minimalism is not about living with less money, it's about making the money you have work for you. So, what can we learn about money from a minimalist? When we dive into the minimalist lifestyle and its principles, it uncovers an entirely new perspective on money. It's not about hoarding wealth or accumulating possessions, but about achieving freedom, purpose, and joy. The first lesson we learn is the importance of quality over quantity. A minimalist doesn't measure wealth by the quantity of money or possessions, but by the quality of their life experiences. They would rather invest in a single, well-crafted item that will last a lifetime than purchase multiple cheap items that will need constant replacement. This principle extends to their finances too. A minimalist would rather have a smaller, carefully curated investment portfolio that aligns with their values and provides steady growth than a large, risky one that causes constant stress. Next, we learn that experiences are more valuable than possessions. A minimalist knows that the joy derived from experiences, like a walk in the park, time spent with loved ones, or a trip to a new place, is far more enduring than the fleeting thrill of a new purchase. They understand that money can provide these experiences, but it's not the experiences themselves that cost money. It's the pursuit of these experiences that often leads to greater financial freedom. Perhaps the most important lesson from a minimalist is that purpose should always come before profit. A minimalist doesn't see money as an end in itself, but as a tool to achieve their goals and fulfill their purpose. They don't work just to make money, but to contribute to something meaningful. They know that a purpose-driven life is far more rewarding than a profit-driven one. These lessons remind us that money, like everything else, is just a tool. It's not inherently good or bad, it's what we do with it that matters. It can be used to create freedom, enable experiences, and fund a purposeful life. Or it can be used to create stress, feed consumerism, and distract from what truly matters. In the end, it's not about how much money we have, but how we choose to use it. In this world, driven by consumerism, minimalism offers a different perspective on money. It's a refreshing view, one that challenges the status quo and encourages us to think differently about our financial habits. We've taken a journey through the minimalist's path, understanding how this lifestyle choice isn't about deprivation, but rather about making intentional decisions. We've explored how minimalism can pave the way to financial freedom, allowing us to break free from the cycle of endless earning and spending. We've learned lessons from a minimalist viewpoint on money, understanding that it is not the end goal, but merely a means to an end. It's about using money to live a life that aligns with our values and brings us joy, and that's the crux of it all. Minimalism isn't about having less money, it's about having more control over it. Remember, money is a tool, not the master. Let's choose to use it wisely, not let it use us.